I am an oppressed Latino in America. If I choose to be, I live a comfortable life. I think many of us do. The simplest qualification or the requirements for that is having shelter, food, and freedom. And I've got a bonus. I could um, have such luxuries as simply choosing to not do shit today go to Starbucks and look at asses. Go to the beach. Check out the, um, the beauties of California. If I, if I thought in, in a limiting way, I could do that. But, uh, or if I felt that I was oppressed, Oh, it's a it's a sick joke, sick joke, and it comes and you hear it in words such as the president, Lord Trump, is a dictator. He's a fascist. Black lives matter. You can't say all lives matter. That's racist. That's racialist. I'm triggered. I need a safe space and. Uh, And I think of these things as I, as I order a coffee, an overpriced cup of coffee at Starbucks. Do you know you get the, the refills of coffee for 50 cents? So just to let you know if you're just there for coffee. And, um, yeah, but going to places like that going to a subway sandwich shop and seeing the I remember one time I walked out of a sub subway shop subway sandwich shop because I um, was waiting no line but I was waiting for the sandwich artist come up and put on a explain to for them to wash their hands and then put on gloves but instead just put on gloves and just heard a big not, not even a hello just a big sigh I said um, a miserable motherfucker like that just uh, and I think you know what I could just um Go somewhere else and get some other food. And I did. But, uh, some way, somehow, okay, to me, the way I interpreted that was the dude, the fucking idiot, the weakling, the bitch, the oppressed motherfucker, weak motherfucker, polluted thought, raised by weaklings, low performance people. When I heard his, his his sigh, it's like, oh man, what's this guy want? Could you imagine? Let's say you fucking hate your job. You have to deal with people. You do that shit. Imagine if all the customers just disappeared. Do you think you'd have a job there? What sort of fucking skills would you have? Do you already have that um, are putting you in that position? I think it's hilarious that some people believe, oh, you know, I should be running a uh, multi multi million dollar company. And uh, not. Uh, I think when you hear 
Puff Daddy, Kanye, or the uh, even on the show uh, Shark Tank, giving all these words of CL, CEO, CFO, you think, oh, um, that's what I need to do. That's where I have my business. That's where my first job should be. Man, how much I appreciate making this video right now at this moment. Thinking about the times, thinking about the number of times I've scrubbed toilets. Flip burgers. And I'll say that I'm a oppressed Latino in America if I choose. That's if I fucking choose to be. If any motherfucker chooses to be oppressed in America. I'm consistently working on my collection of work, selection of items so that I could uh, compete in the uh, clothing business and the art print business and other stuff and other fields and other fields I don't know if the word is I sacrificed um, I'm sacrificing other things so I can focus on this I don't think because sacrifice sounds like a painful word um, if I didn't want to be a fat fuck motherfucker greasy slime fucking ball what I need to give up of what I need to sacrifice I'm um, eating Ma toxic McDonald's what I need to sacrifice um, not doing any sort of cardio any aerobic or anaerobic exercises I believe it simply be um, Making a decision, making a choice. I'm trying to remember who it was. It says, uh, "Life is hard, but if you're hard on yourself, life will be easier." And. And it, it just, um, again, it, it just gets to me. I'm going to go take care of some things right now. I'm done with this video. And uh, I'm probably going to run into some motherfucker that's going to give me some victimized customer service. Hi. How can I help you? I'm here. Yeah, alright. And people wonder why they get paid uh, minimum wage, seven, eight bucks an hour. Why do they pay me more? I know that I could uh, stop this uh, beauty juice drawing. And say, oh, look at me, it's finished. Like it, like, subscribe, check it out, yo. And I know, I know I can make some sales off of it. But no, I want to, um. <clears throat> I want to create something that speaks for itself. What if I want to sell the original? But at times it's uh, disempowering to, to just think of um, and all, all the weenies you come across in life and you just think, man It's disappointing that uh, someone 
you were raised with, someone that you knew, someone that you called friend, someone that you had confidence in, someone that you looked up to just um, quit. Just um, tap out, man. It's pathetic, man. I'm oppressed. I'm oppressed because um, if I try to uh, start that business, I'm oppressed because I don't have the multi-million dollar budget. I'm oppressed because I don't have a master's degree. I'm oppressed because I wasn't born into a family of multi-million dollar Fortune 500 uh, business owners. And seeing that repeatedly done in the year 2017 in America, it it uh, <laughs> it, it, it it baffles me. It um, stuns me. It, it's uh, that's why I like uh, I like small business owners so much. Um, they're the ones that are uh, taking a gamble, that believe in themselves. Wow, wow, wow. I don't give a mother fuck if you're selling um, doggy clothing, um, green products, recycled furniture. Just providing a product or service that's hundred percent you. It's admirable. Amazing. Awesome. Yeah, but I, I have to share these thoughts because I wanna warn you guys just to just to be aware of that because before whether, in case, let's say you're watching this channel because you're, you're into drawing, into art, and I think you, uh, what, whatever your goal is, I'm pretty sure you have a goal, a career, a job you want to pursue, a career you want to pursue, not a job, career, a field, or fields that you want to um, um, take, partake in, is that the word, partake? And... You're gonna encounter naysayers that say, oh, duh, why you wanna do that? That's stupid. Not so much of a gamble, man. Take, take it easy. And you're gonna hear all these um, sorts of no's, nays, negatives, doubts, um, criticism, criticisms, critiques that. Uh, saying that you're wrong no, 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 not to do it I will give you doubt bad feelings make you uncomfortable make you doubtful of yourself um, uh, make you scared make you fear and it's thanks to A lot of amazing motherfuckers in my life that I keep on going because their formula for their success was make it happen. <laughs> That's it. Make it happen. You want bigger muscles? Make it happen. You want to lose weight? Make it happen. You want to get smarter? Make it happen. You want to learn a new skill, make it happen. It's easy for you to say. I remember some bitch ass motherfucker said that to me. It's easy for you to say, you got money. And I, I was in a good mood and busy, but if I had more time, I would have uh, I would have made more time. I would have said, that's a fucking weak excuse. It's lame. I'm 
pretty sure we both come from the same sort of environments. Similar environments. And I could stay here and cry and be... Oh no, you don't understand how hard I've had it. And uh, give you reasons as to why I never created um, any any artwork. Can't go on, can't do this, can't do that. I could. But I choose not to be like that. I choose not to be a victim, oppressed, or whatever the fuck, or weak. No, it's all bullshit. Weakness, I choose not to be weak, choose not to be oppressed. Much is possible here in America.